Right now, Rhode Island senators just voted on a package of bills that have drawn a lot of opposition from many city and town leaders. Iowa News News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live from the State House with the latest. Mike, this was a major victory for labor unions. Just a few minutes ago, the Rhode Island Senate wrapped up passing a package of labor bills that again were backed by those unions. The package included the very controversial continuing contracts bill for police, fire, and teachers and municipal employees. The three bills would mandate that expired contracts stay in place while new contracts are being negotiated. But many cities and towns are vehemently opposed because they say it could hurt taxpayers, for example, during an economic downturn if they have to continue paying wages and benefits from a contract that should have expired. The bills do make exceptions for layoffs, allowing cities and towns to do layoffs even when the contracts are expired or extended, I should say. Here are views from both sides of the Senate floor debate, starting with the senator who is a former municipal employee herself. The benefits we have should be retained. We shouldn't have it just going out a window. We worked for it. After all, somebody says the taxpayers. Well, the municipal employees are taxpayers as well. Owns homes in the community. Evergreen means forever. I mean, maybe I could go for two years. Maybe I could go for five years so that, you know, we could have predictions on how the economy looks. But for me, you know, I wouldn't do an evergreen contract at my law firm. And they said it also passed two bills that would uh, create mandated firefighter overtime after 42 hours of work. There's actually only three communities in Rhode Island that don't already do this. But again, those two bills were vehemently opposed by the League of Cities and Towns. They wanted these to stay as local decisions uh, made by city and town leaders so that uh, taxpayers were not adversely affected. But the unions, the firefighter unions, say it's only fair for them to get overtime over 42 hours. So again, those bills passed. They had already passed the House. These all go to Governor Gina Raimondo's desk. Now, she previously vetoed continuing contracts back in 2017, but her press secretary tells me she is now leaning towards signing the bills. We will see how that shakes out. Again, a big victory for labor unions here at the State House today. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.